Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a video all around how I organise my stationery. Um, I've had this video requested for a long time now so I thought I may as well jump into it and I pr probably would have loved to have done it in my old um, apartment because there was a lot more space. I had my desk set up. Um, and I also had my cubes as well. But since I've moved here, I've had to figure out how to organize things as compact as possible. So I thought it might be a great video to create for someone who only has a really small space. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the drawers and what my space is so you get an understanding of how big the area is. So walking into my bedroom, this is the small space that I've got for my stationery. Now I put these drawers together the other day, just they came in a flat pack. Um, I also made my bag for the video. <laughs> so if you see this corner here, we don't have a lot of space between the bed and the wall. And then I've got more stationery in this box here. So the next place that I've kept a few of my stationery goodies is in this linen cupboard. Again, it's very teeny tiny. So it doesn't hold a lot, but I've got my basket, which as a lot of you know if you've been watching my channel for a while, it's got all the mail that I get and the mail that I need to send out. If we go down to the bottom here, I've also just got my pens and all my bips and bobs where I need to cut or paste or anything like that. All my double sided tape. I've just put it here because it's a little bit messy looking and I didn't want it in my drawers because I did such a nice job of organising. And then again, I couldn't fit all my stationery so I've got a little bit under here as well. This one here is the one I actually wanted to show you about. I organised my washi tapes really well um, about, I think it was three months ago or maybe six months ago, I don't know. And then it got really messy again because I do a lot of crafting, as you guys know, but I just wanted to show you, oops, that's stuck, how much washi tape I have. This is pretty much my entire collection. So I know that you guys think I probably have a lot more than this, but this is actually a bit, pretty big collection. All oh, right, let me show you what's in my drawers. What I thought we'd do is I thought maybe we'd go through this top section first and then we can go through each drawer and then I can show you what's inside of that box. Alrighty, so starting at the top I've got my two little Studio Ghibli um, figurines. I've also got this little guy where I got him from a antique shop in Japan. As you can see behind this I've got my little Japanese post um, box that's actually a money box. I got that little one from Daiso. This here is, it's supposed to be where you put um, um, different, it's supposed to be for like a sewing kit, so you put your different threads on there, uh, but I decided that I wanted my washi tape and it comes with these adorable little scissors as well. Um, I actually got this from my old work, I used to work at a place called Pillow Talk, it was a homewares um, store, so I got that little guy there. Um, this box here was actually from that store as well, so my old work at Pillow Talk. I keep all little stickers and cutouts and anything inside of there. These two boxes here are Kiki K letter sets, so I've used many of these multiple times. And then this is my Cities Away box where I've just got all my stamp collection in there as well. So, um, I'm not going to open up these boxes just because it's going to be a very long video if I do. But if I move the camera down further, this box here is a vintage, um, oh I actually don't know if it's vintage, I don't know when it was made. But it's a old, um, I don't know what actually what people store in there, but it's got Disney prints all around it. Um, and it's just a little box with latches. And I've just kept a whole lot of papers. Again. All my old videos, you can go through and see what's inside all these boxes. I got this little Totoro from Japan. Let me just move the camera down. As I said, I got this little Totoro from Japan. This is just my wax seal burner, so I've got that one there for easy use. And then these little sets here, these are actually adorable, I'm going to show you these ones. I've got four sets and they just go smaller and smaller, so these are the two smallest ones. Oops, let me get them in focus. 
So as I mentioned, this little set was from Sports Girl, um, and I just thought the prints and the colours were adorable, and as I said, these two are the smallest out of the two sets, the rest are in the lower drawers. So we've moved to this corner, I've got my jewellery box from Japan that sings a song from Spirited Away, I've also got my jar of wishes which my sister made me, it's full of dandelions, I've also got the drawers here full of stationery, it's nothing too exciting, it's just bits and pieces, postcards, um, and just little things that are used to create mail art. I've also got my basket at the back here. It's got a little Domo pencil case. Um, this little pencil case is just from Japan. I liked it. And a little Totoro pencil case. Let me show you a close up. So my three favourite pencil cases. I just thought they were really cute and I wanted to display them. So at the back here I've also got three journals. So I've got this one here which I've already done a flip through on my channel. So if you want to see it. Just go check out my um, flip through. That one is my most recent flip through of my completed journal. I've also got my Kiki K planner. Again, I've already done a flip through of that one, so go check that one out as well. And then I haven't shown you guys much of this journal here. It's a bit of an odd one. Basically, it is a journal where I collect lots of... Um, basically wrapping <laughs> that are just colourful and fun to collect so they're just wrapping from majority of my Japan trip because Japan like Jap like I don't know they've just got the most beautiful wrapping in Japan but I'm trying to collect wrapping from all over the world that's sort of unique to different countries but so far it's predominantly wrapping from Japan um, but if you guys want to know more about that journal, I can let you know, but it's not that interesting. So again, if I just move back, that is everything on top of the drawers. Now we'll jump inside. Drawer number one. Now I keep a lot of um, boxes that get sent to me in the mail. Oh no, one of my girls just dropped from the top. And basically I just fill it up with fips and bobs. So as you can see, this has just got everything that I usually um, need for creating mail art. So it's got my, just pop that aside, my wax seal stamps, a lot of my normal stamps that I use quite often, twine. I need a lighter to light up um, the wax burner. These are my little wax things in there. I've got more stamps. Just basically, as I said, all the essentials I need um, to make mail art and all the things that I use quite regularly. Underneath the box here, I've got um, a bit of wrapping as well, and then I've got all my paper lovers books. So my paper lovers books all are from Kiki K, um, and I think I've already done a collection view on those ones. Over here are the mail arts that, sorry, the mail that I've created on my channel from a while back. I haven't ever got a chance to send out the mail art that I've created, and I've also wanted to take a few photos of these. Um, and I really just need to get around to sending them to be honest with you I've just had a very busy couple of months like these ones like I created ages ago um, and then this one is the giveaway that I'm doing so again a lot of these are just need to go out ASAP as I said before this is the same collection that that I just showed you earlier so these are the two biggest ones and again, this is the just little lunchbox sets from, um, what did I say, Sports Girls. So they've just got cute little sayings on it. So this one says, I'm soy into you because it's little soy sauces and it's let's roll because it's little um, sushi rolls. And then under here, sorry if I might just do a little bit more of a close up. Give me one second. Alrighty, so under here I've got um, this washi ta tape um, collection it was just given to me my cute little book that I use for pretty much everything and then I've just got a whole bit of papers and books and just drawings and little things that um, could easily just lay flat so I've also got some more twine that I'm doing a lot of wrapping with and I've actually just this just came in the mail it is a oops oh my god it just fell apart <gasps> Oh no, I haven't I haven't figured out how to use this yet. But basically, it's a little hand sewer, like sewing machine, but it's ah. Um, but basically, it's yeah a hand hand sewing machine that you, it's like the size of my hand, so it's just like really easy to work. 
and because I don't know how to sew and I want to sew a lot more stationary crafts together, um, I'm going to work out how to use that over the next few weeks. So I'm looking forward to sewing a few books together. Alrighty, I might just keep that washi tape there. So that is drawer number one. Drawer number two, there's not a lot of stationery in here, it's mainly just books. So I've got, this is just an envelope maker, and these are just books. There's a um, stamp album, there's my big book that I put all my mail art in, this one's just a big collage book down there. This is actually my pack that I made for Japan that I'm going over there. Wow, I've been saying Japan a lot in this video, sorry. Um, and then just some more paper lover books down there. So again, it's just a drawer full of books really. Okay, so drawer number three is pretty simple. I've got this little box here that I've got from an op shop. Actually, I think my mum gave me this. Um, this is just a paper cutter. It just fits perfectly in this drawer. Oops. And then I've got a whole bunch of books again in this one, as well as really large stamps, which I think this one is awesome. Um, also my traveller's Traveler's Notebook, so the notebook that we sent around as a community project that travelled all around the world. Um, this is my journal that I took to Japan again last year. Sorry for saying Japan so much, but I've got a lot of stationery from Japan. Um, and then some really random books. This is the one I got from... Um, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of my stationery shop in Sydney that I absolutely adore. Pop Creative Paper. No. Pulp creative paper or something like that. I made a video on it anyway. And then I've also got some of my favourite journals as well. They're just beautiful and I haven't been able to use yet. Um, what else is in here? Some ink pads. And then I'll show you what's in this one here actually. Separately. And I actually want to show you underneath this box, so give me one second. So I've been actually wanting to show you these envelope templates for a while. Um, I got them from the website Naomi Loves. She creates lots of designs and she also creates a lot of mail art um, and envelope designs. So I'll show you a few. But basically, um, I printed them out on a three really thick stock paper and um, I've been wanting to watercolour them in for a while and I've been wanting to basically just create a watercolour video of all the lovely prints. I'm just going to put them back because they're quite heavy and I don't want to dirty them but yeah I'm going to be creating a video soon where I'm going to be watercolouring all the um, prints in and just showing you um, yeah, all the beautiful designs that she has because I think she's an amazing artist. And I think it would be a really fun and simple video to create. So again, this drawer isn't fully um, got a lot of stationery in, I should say, at the moment. But it's got enough just because the drawers, I said at the very start, are quite flimsy. But before we move on, I just wanted to show you this box because I thought it was adorable. Um, as I said, my mother gave it to me and I just keep just some jars in there with um, buttons because buttons are quite useful for stationery and I'm pretty sure this tin's just empty. A really cute box. Okay last draw. Now I collect a lot of weird things as you guys know so this pocky is actually empty I've just really liked the wrapping. Um, these I got from a little vintage sorry it was just an antique store this box and it used to be your old cigarette tin and I can't seem to be open it. Let me just open. Ah. And it's got old wood and stamps inside. Oh my god, I can't close it now. Close. Ah, okay. I'll figure that one out later. Again, I got this from the same antique straw that I got the other one. And it's just got handmade envelopes and papers inside that I really, really love. This tub, and as you can see, I've just been organising everything in tubs because if I'd had these all just laid out or stacked out, they would have got really messy. So that's why I tried to fill these tubs up as much as possible and it actually made the drawers a lot easier to pack. So these, again, old notebooks, lots of different notebooks and papers and 
I've got my postcards in here as well. So if you haven't seen my postcards, which I think, um, not that one. I'll grab one of these. It's my original girl. Remember my original girl that I had on my YouTube channel? I made postcards of her and I sent them out in a lot of my mail art packages. Oops. So I've got her that I still need to give away. I've also got the um, bundle of postcards from Pen Paling Paula. So basically she designs stationery shops. Sorry, she designs postcards and she puts all the stationery shops in that city. So I thought that's really cool and yeah just little um, journals as well. I honestly can't remember what's in these two boxes because I only just organized my stationery but this little box says pretty little things on the top and hopefully there's some pretty things inside for me to show you. Oh yeah so this box is full of all the things that were on my desk. So again my, this little robot I might put him up next to my little um, other little guy at the top there little Totoro stamp. Basically it's just got a whole bunch of goodies that I displayed on my desk. So I'll pop that back in. Ah no it's not going to fit. Do you guys remember this stamp? It's one of my favourites. Okay so this box was I think it was the Your, um, yeah, Your Creative Studio box and I basically just put all the stuff from that box back in here as well as the stuff from the sticky kit. Um, collection as well so a few stationary goodies as well as washi tape and basically I just put it all back in here so I didn't have to organize it so I will organize it one day but for now it's just staying there and that is the end of the tour just kidding I nearly forgot about this box okay so this, also if you guys are wondering where I'm getting these little um, baskets from, I got them from a discount variety store, so you'll have to go to your local one. It's literally just like a dollar store, um, and then I got a whole bunch of them. They were, I think, $2 each, so very cheap, and I got pink because I love pink. These were also from the variety store, so basically they're just um, expandable files where I put lots of stationery um, cutouts and bits and bops in there as well just because they're easy to store and they look a lot nicer and then I've got my large papers at the back here and a few packaging and stickers as well so I as I said I don't know where to put that yet but for now that's just going to stay on top of this box and if you wanted to know what was inside it's actually all my products for my new stationery shop <laughs> so let me do a little bit close up so again I've been storing everything in these plastic baskets and without giving too much away, I think they're all facing the wrong way anyway, but basically it's all the stickers, the envelopes, um, a lot of these are planner stickers. Very, very cute. I love those ones. I can't wait to see you guys using them. Um, some wrapping, some tissue wrapping, and then some more of the envelopes. So yes, that is all of my products so far. And I'll be creating bundles, showing you how guys how to create sets. I've also got lots of little envelopes here with all the independent artist stuff inside as well. So I can't wait to show you guys more of what's in here. Um, but for now, I'll let it be a surprise until I do a complete launch. So my shop will be launched hopefully in December for pre-orders. But because I'm going to go away most of December, all of my stock won't be shipped until January. I hope that gave you a lot of good ideas on how to store your stationery. Majority of the places that I get storage things for my stationery is variety or discount stores, Officeworks and Kmart. So that's pretty much the three go-to places for me. Um, other than that, I collect things from lots of different stores. I've got lots of um, my stationery Sorry, I've got videos where I go stationary shopping with you guys. So if you want to know where specific things are from, then go check out those videos. But I always post um, videos on majority of the stuff that you've seen here or I use the stuff throughout my videos. So yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you enjoyed this little tour today and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.